Right now, what I'm going to do is just talk to you about lighting. This is our friend. It's going to help us today. And then, well, first of all, uh, to me, it's about the thought process. So how do you build up something? So I've been teaching for 10 years. And in my, my experience, the most important part of learning photography is understanding the thought process. Because I want you to be you. I want you to do yourself. You know, I don't want you to just copy what, we'll, what we're going to practice today. But I will give it to you. You, know? you will have it. And you can use it. And you can replicate it. And then you can twist it and manage it however you want to do it. Okay? But first of all, I want to, I want to show you how, how I think, how I came out with this. Okay? So first of all, let's, let's explore light. How I see the light. I'm not a, a, you know, I'm not a, a classic portrait photographer. I do wedding mainly. So the way I use it is uh, on the ground. So I move a lot and I go everywhere. So the way I explore light is by seeing it. So when you have flash, you don't see exactly what you're going to get. So I thought, OK, I don't know exactly if it's, this is going to, if, if what I'm seeing is exactly what the camera will see. So I try to imagine how this is going to look like, right? So the way that I, that I came out to do it, you know, in my head is by killing absolutely everything and creating a dark space. And then from that point, I'm going to start building up. Okay, so I will start building up and painting on top of that and adding more and more and more and more. Okay, so let's see. Let's start with this slide. And let me, let me, let me show you uh, what I will be shooting with today. So I will be, I'll be using this one. Okay. So, and then, so tomorrow, guys, what I will be doing tomorrow is showing you what I came out with. Okay. So today is going to be about the photograph and the thought process. And tomorrow I will do post-processing and show you the final product. Okay. So let's start. When I see light, okay, I, first of all, I'm just trying to see, um, I don't know if you can look at it here. OK. So this is like a start point. right? So and then I, what I like to do is just move around and see exactly how this is, gonna, how this is going to look in any, any direction. OK. So I'm looking at the subject and exploring all the possibilities, right? All of them to understand exactly in what point, you know, my subject matter, it looks the best. Perfect. Awesome. So this is like start point. So in terms of settings, you know, remember that what I say, I just need to kill the light. So uh, ISO is 150, you know, uh, 200 of the seconds, and F5. Like you can tell here, you know, we have some ambient light that I will be using also later. So now that we have nothing else beside our subject, we're going to build on that. So we have a background here, right? But I don't really care right now for the background itself. I just need to separate my subject from the background. So what I'm going to do is to modify the light. So instead of shooting straight to the background, I'm going to shoot through this mirror. And then it's going to reflect the light over here, OK? To create some texture. Because that's what I'm looking for right now, OK? So first I have the subject, and then I have a background. If I would have to approach this with a couple or in a situation where it's a wedding, the first thing actually that I look is the background. Because if the background is dark enough or light enough, in the whole composition, it will be easy to identify the subject, OK? OK? Perfect. <laughs> so now let's, let's try it again, guys. OK. Let's see. Three, two, one, and perfect. Now I'm going to go and increase the power. By the way, um, I, I should have mentioned this before, but we're using Profoto, right? Which is uh, hi, people from Profoto. So this is really reliable. Because when you when you shooting um, when you shooting flashes, really what you want is something that will be responsive, and also that 
it will have enough power and really can keep up with you. And they shoot a lot and pretty fast. And I change my mind all the time. So this is something that really can keep up with me. Okay, three, two, one, and. Okay, that's perfect. Let's do one more. Three, two, one, and. Okay, perfect. Now, like you can tell, and I will show you this tomorrow, we have a little bit more of detail in the background, right? But we're controlling this. So we're painting on the photo. So you're not really on the mercy of the light. You are really killing everything. So if, if this was like any, any room, you can make any room and any space in your space, and it could be anything you want. Uh, for me, like sometimes when I start shooting, I, I remember going to rooms where, you know, there was nothing really that was really pretty, obviously. So I, my point was transport people to a space that I found interesting, okay? So we have that, that's perfect. And then let's uh, complicate our life a little bit more. So this is the first photograph, right? Close up. The second photograph that I'm going to do is going to be full body with more motion. And the third photograph that I'm going to do is will be uh, far away with a multiple exposure. Okay, let's complicate our life little by little. So now let's adjust this light here a little bit more. That's perfect. And then, excuse me, but I'm going to turn off the lights here. Okay, is that cool, guys? Can you see me? So it will be, I think it would be actually easier for you guys to, to see what I'm seeing, you know, this way. Okay, let me check so you can, perfect. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. Looking great. <laughs> Thank you very much for your patience. Okay. So now let's see. I'm looking for the angle. So remember, uh, the way the way I approach lie and the best position for me. You know, based on what I, what I what I was shooting, and let me let me show you a little bit a little bit of what I was doing. You know, when I start, I start over here, right, and then keep moving around, keep moving around, keep moving around. You know, I'm seeing all the potential type of light situations, right? And it looks pretty already, right? Like like usually you see like oh that's okay, that's awesome, but I'm like no, let's complicate our life just because. Okay, let's do it. So now, uh, the angle of the light, it's, um, it's something that I, it usually, if you, if you are shooting in a wedding or in any situation where you have to make quick decisions, I will let me give you like a formula, okay? A formula will be always have 45 degree angle, okay? The light, and always think about it this way. You are six, your subject is 12, right? So your light is gonna be between, between three and 230, okay? So that's a good angle, because that way you kill always the chin, you know? And remember, this is a small softbox, so it's more directional. You know, the closest it is, the more harsh is the, the, the shadows you're making, the far away, and the bigger source of light, you know, will make for more soft and nice light. But in this case, we want more drama, okay? So this is perfect for that. Okay, let's try one more time just to check the light. Awesome, three, two, one, and perfect. Okay, so we get in there, guys. We get in there. Um, you know, photography is solving problems. It's not, there's no problems here, so <laughs> really, it's pretty easy. Uh, but the, the point is that if we'll always try to do something more. So I have this video light that I liked so much. So I liked a photograph that have more like a three-dimensional space. I don't like photographs that are flat, okay? So because when I see something, I know that I'm looking at her, but in my eyes also I'm looking at what is behind and what is in front. So if I always have 
you know, this three-dimensional space, I always have, you know, a more interesting and dynamic photograph. However, if you make too many elements in it, what's going to happen is that um, you need to make sure that the subject is framed because you're going far away, probably, and then your subject have the, the highest source of light. Look, if it's, if it's like, uh, if you are in an ambient when you have lots of different lights also, you want to overpower all the light with your source of light, okay? Okay, there we go, guys. Let's try this one, okay? Okay, you know me? Perfect. So, start. So, perfect. Let's see, three, two, one, and. Okay. Okay, perfect. Here we, here we go. Three, two, one, and. So if you notice, I'm shooting with zoom lenses here, okay? This is 24, 105, and I have here my frame with 7200, okay? So in terms of uh, studio lighting, these are my favorite lenses because I really can do anything with this. Okay, so perfect. So what do you do, what I'm doing here, I'm showing you right now. Okay, three, two, one, and. And I'm gonna open pretty much, there we go. Beautiful, do it one more time. Go, go, go. Awesome. Okay. So let me show you, is that you my friend? Let me show you what I'm doing here, okay? So the idea, you know, is having three layers, okay? So I'm creating different layers. So what I'm trying to do here is match, match the light that is the power of light that I have here with the power of light that I have here with the power of light that I have here and make it a gradient, okay? So we start, she is the brightest spot in the, in the photograph. No, so it's the bright, brighter thing. Now, I open a little bit the shutter speed to 125 to get a little more ambient light. You know, so uh, I'm, I don't know if you know all this, <laughs> but I will tell you anyways, if you know it, it's just a way to refresh. So, you know, uh, shutter speed manage, you know, the ambient light and aperture manage the power of the flash. So on shutter speed, I'm open up to see more of this environment, and then actually if you get close, you can see what I'm saying right now. Perfect, and then she's gonna be, she's gonna be there. Okay, I think that's, that's amazing. I think we almost got it. So this is the first photo, okay? This is just the first, and let me, let me add a little bit more of drama, okay? By going from, this was 3 p.m. to, to 25, I would say. <laughs> no, no question there. <laughs> okay, and, <clears throat> okay, so this is like a tip also for everybody. It doesn't matter why you shoot, if you shoot weddings, or you portrait photographer, or, a, you know, you need to have a range. I shoot always with two bodies. Uh, so what I, this is great because you find final decomposition. You've got the life finally. So in this point, you have to use, you know, the most of it. So just by switching, you know, with having the same settings pretty much, I mean, just by switching the lens, you are gonna get a different point of view right away, okay? So let's check it out. Now we're gonna use it 7200. Focus a little, a little bit more on her. And it's important to turn this up. Perfect, okay. And we're gonna turn this. Awesome. And now I'm gonna get a little bit closer with these guys. Three, two, one, and perfect. I love these colors. I usually this is like my palette of colors all the time. 
Chin up a little bit more. Look at the light, perfect. And then can you get closer with your, with your hand? And perfect. Awesome. I'm gonna close the light in general, and then I'm gonna expose a little bit more for the highlights. Three, two, one, and. Three, two, one, and. Awesome. So let me show you what's happening here. Okay, it's a little bit more, more dramatic, right? More close up, always beautiful. Okay, just more personal, okay? Okay, how's that guys? Now, I'm going to complicate my life a little bit more. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some motion, okay? So this is the part where we're gonna play with the hands a little bit more. Uh, her posture is, is great, you know? I feel like always, I like S, you know, when, you, when you're posing. You don't want a square, you know, you want an S, okay? So, and then I want you to just, just play and breathe and just play with this, okay? I know I look pretty funny when I do this. <clears throat> okay, let's do it. So what I'm gonna do is slow my shutter speed to probably four um, for a second. And then I'm gonna heal more of, of the ambient light by increasing the power of the, of the flash. Okay, so everything's gonna get a little bit brighter right now in terms of the flash, and I'm killing this right now. Okay, three, two, one, and. Okay, one second. Let me check. Pretty good. Now, I think I can take a little bit more of risk and even get closer to you over here. Perfect. And a little bit low. Let's do this. Why? Because, <clears throat> because I don't want to increase the power of my flash. And I want to have the shadows a little bit more sharp. Uh, so I want to have a more intense, intense look. So, and because it's low shadow speed, so I'm letting a lot of more of the ambient light in but I'm healing it with the aperture. But because the aperture is high, I'm healing the light source. So instead of just pump this up, what I'm gonna do is just get it closer, okay? Let's try it one more time, guys. Let's do it. Okay, three, two, one. Almost there, almost there. It's pretty amazing. You're doing a great job, by the way. Thank you very much for being so patient with me. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, okay? Let's just leave this guy there. There we go. Okay, three, two, one, and. And then you can go really fast, up and down, and keep breathing, and keep wondering just think about the space and what's gonna happen tomorrow. And when you finish this, you're gonna go with your boyfriend. It's gonna be amazing. Okay, three, two, one, and take a deep breath. Okay, wait, 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 perfect. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay, we have this one that I kinda like. Do you see it? Okay, now, let me, let me do this now with this bad boy here. And then it's gonna copy exactly same speed, same aperture. Yes, it's gonna change the depth of field, but that's okay. I just need to have more distortion on this. That's, that's all I'm doing. 
And since I'm going to do, I'm going to leave perfect. Since I'm leaving more ambient light, I don't need this to be too powerful. Okay, so let me see. Three, two, one, and go. And go. Stay there. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to do a little bit long, uh, long even longer shutter speed. So this motion, I want you to go from here, on the other, other side, all, all the way here. Yeah, from here and then towards the light, as you your face meets your hand. Okay, let's do it. Three, two, one, and go. Do it one more time. Three, two, one, and go. Okay, I really like this one. Feels like she's having an out of body experience right now because she's live in the castle. It's crazy. Okay, I really like this. Now, I'm gonna, I want you to start here with the hand. Start here, yeah, perfect. And then put it out a little bit more, closer to me, perfect. So you, so light hits your face, that's great. Okay, perfect. And you, one, two, three, go. A little bit more crazy, okay? And this is gonna be the last one, guys, so we gotta do it right, okay? Three, two, one, and go. Awesome. I lied to you, that was the last one. <laughs> okay, do, do it one more time. Perfect. Okay, so one, two, and go. Okay, we got it. We got it. Okay, can you guys see it? See what's up? Okay, that's, that's what's up. Okay, perfect. So we did it. Okay, so that's the first one. <laughs> so let's just check what we learned today. Kids, let's check it out. Let me turn on the light here. Okay, awesome. So just to recap, summarize a little bit what happened right now. So we start very simple, right? We have a key light. Let, let me show you the picture, by the way. I think it's fair that you see it. Right? Mm. You like it? Yes, thank you. Okay, cool, she like it. <laughs> <laughs> She's a satisfied client. Okay, so, we <laughs> so, what we, so what are we doing right now? Um, just starting with a simple key light, right? And then we create dimension. We know, with, with three layers. First layer, second layer, third layer. Okay. Alici, how are we doing? Are we doing okay? Yeah, it's okay, perfect, awesome. 